Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a really good day. My name is Sebastian, if you're new to my channel, hello. I welcome you guys with all of the most amazing energy and open arms possible. And guys, we have a lot to talk about. So sit back, relax, get a cocktail, a mocktail, cranberry juice, Pepsi, girl, do whatever you need to do. Just get comfy and pick up your phone, laptop, iPad, whatever you're watching me on, and relax. So also don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I would be super grateful if you did, if you helped me get to my goal of 6,000 subscribers this month. I would be so grateful. And let's get into the tea, you guys. So, all right, Jeffrey Shane. It's like back then, Brittany, Christina, Justin, no, actually, girl, never compare them to the queen of pop living legend, Britney Spears, honey. And that's on period, bitch. I'm sorry I just did that. I correct myself and I cancel myself for saying that. All right, you guys. So Jeffrey and Shane, right? All right, what's happening here? I want to know, and I want to have an open discussion with you, right? Because you guys know that right now, Jeffrey and Shane, they're both pretty much canceled, right? But I wanna know from you, who do you think it's worse? Who do you think takes the cake on just being not the best? Now, before we get into that, I am only going to be talking about things that they have been caught doing and kind of adding them up and then seeing who is worse. Because all over social media, there's two sides. There's the Shane Dawson fans, the Jeffree Star fans, and they're both, you know, uh, standing by their their favorite right and then there's the people who just are over them are tired of their antics and they've canceled both but some think one is worse than the other now let's just talk about it real cute real fast real nice who is who is actually worse okay so first thing that comes to my mind of course you guys oh girl it is so hot my face is like this is not sweat, but I say this in every single video, you guys. This is bio oil. It's the best freaking oil. It makes your face look so dewy and beautiful. Anyways, just hasn't set yet. Shine, bitch, shine. See that shine? This needs to go as soon as I lose my double chin. Anyways, okay, focus. So, you guys. I think right? This is just my humble opinion, bitch. I think that Jeffree Star, he has always shown us who he is, right? Jeffree Star has never been humble. He has always been very flashy. He has owned up to the things that he's done, that he's been caught doing, right? In the past, he's done many of apology videos. And you sort of you sort of see what you get with Jeffrey, right? You sort of anticipate how he's going to be and what you can get from him. Now, Mr. Shane, the problem I have with Shane is that, bitch, he bamboozled all of us, right? He bamboozled all of us because he, he was hiding behind this persona, right? That was like humble, and relatable and covering his mouth all the time and snorting and trying to look as relatable and humble as possible and acting poor, right? And acting like an empath and all of these things when in reality, allegedly he was doing all these things in the back, you know, in the back, backstage, back in the scene, back behind the scenes. Oh, I can't talk. I'm a mess. So that is the issue I have with Shane. And that's sort of what I've been reading all over social media. It's like, with Jeffrey, you kind of know what you get. But with Shane, he does things in privacy. You know, he does things secretly. You know what I mean? So you just never know what's going to pop out with Shane. Now, of course, Shane is being accused of plenty of things. And, you know, so is Jeffrey. But people seem to think that Shane is the worst because A, he's accused of allegedly, you know, with the little kids. And of course the racism, all of these things, but they're like, what else is he hiding if he's done things so secretly behind the scenes, right? 
And the problem, the problem I, okay, here's, here's my backstory with Shane, right? Girl, it, I don't know at this point in time, nothing. My problem with Shane, you guys, is I started liking him when he was doing like his eating videos just because I was really getting into the whole mukbang thing. I love to see people eating foods that I, I was not allowing myself to eat. And then he started doing these really cool videos like traveling with Garrett and Rylan and Morgan, you know, that and, and, and Drew and, and, you know, that era. I really liked that era. And I thought like, wow, he's, he, he's like a best friend you don't have, right? And he's trying to seem poor and act poor and I'm broke, I'm poor. And yet, bitch, you're living in a multi-million dollar mansion. Why do you have to say you're poor? It's sort of like same thing I always say is with Emma Chamberlain. She tried to be so relatable, but honey, you can't be relatable and it's not your fault if you are just going up and up and up, honey, right? There is no drama about you being successful. Honey, look, even me, when, when my YouTube start, when my YouTube channel starts popping, I'm gonna have a more bougier background. This is from Ross. This was like $23, right? But when I start getting them YouTube checks, honey, I'm gonna have like a beautiful background, right? <sighs> Hopefully, right? Amen. Law of attraction, man. You have to proclaim what you want in the name of Jesus. So, it's not your fault that you're growing and that your pockets are growing and that your environment is changing. But Shane always tried to be relatable so more people will love and kind of relate to him, right? So the problem that a lot of people are having is that is, who is the real Shane? What else are you hiding, right? So I wanna know, what do you guys think? Do you think past actions of who weighs the most? Jeffries or Shane's? Let me know in the comments below. I'm dying to know what you guys think. Thank you so much for watching. Please consider subscribing. And I love you guys so much. Mwah.